Michelle Getzinger here with the Pittsburgh Your City Show, and I'm here at Aspenwall, and we are meeting with the fire department today. This is Gene Marcico, and he's going to tell us a little bit about your volunteer fire department program. Tell us first how you got started. Okay, Michelle, thanks. Uh, I got started when I was 18. I joined the fire department. Back then, you had to be 18 to join, and I lived behind the fire department, so whenever there was a call, the whistle would blow. I'd cut through the alley to the fire station and chase the fire trucks. Now, usually, by the time we got a couple blocks and we're out of breath, they were coming back, so we never knew where they went. Yeah. But since that day, uh, when I was young, it always made me ambitious and wanted to join the fire department to help out. And you've been chasing fire trucks ever since. Yeah, uh, not anymore. Driving them now. Not anymore. I can drive them now. <laughs> so, Gene, tell us about what we're going to do today. Okay. So tonight is our training night. It's Tuesday night. We came down to our uh, public works garage where the Aspenwall Marina is in the riverfront. It's a beautiful view. We're going to practice uh, hitting the fire hydrant and then we're going to be taking some uh, pre-connected lines off and stretching them out. The fire hydrants is one of the most important jobs there is in the fire service because that person's in charge of getting the water to the pumper mm -hmm. for the guys that are inside. And usually we stick the new guy or the junior member on there. So it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah. So we need to make sure that they know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us what it's like to be a fireman. Okay, well, being a volunteer is, is pretty fun, pretty exciting. I'd say 90% of the time we go on calls you come back, you might be gone for a half hour or less. It's, it's fun, you have a good time. You know, you meet some great people, interesting people. There are the 10% of the times that the calls are very serious mm -hmm. and they hit home, whether it involves children or uh, it could be a, a train versus car accident yeah. or a major accident on the highway. About three years ago on a Sunday down here at the uh, marina, we had a gentleman leaving the marina and there was a train in motion wow. going through the, uh, the crossing. And as he was coming up, there was actually workers there right at the crossing laying some cable. And they saw the guy coming and they were screaming at the guy to stop because the train was going through. Yeah. He didn't stop, he hit the train. Yeah. When he bounced off the train, he hit three of the workers. Oh, no. So when we got here, we had three men down that were workers and the gentleman in the car who was trapped so it usually takes about a mile to stop a train. So by the time the train got stopped, we had to climb over the train to get our equipment on the other side of the tracks to be able to extricate the gentleman. Wow. Tell us a little bit about what you guys need here because you guys are literally our heroes that answer calls in the middle of the night. So what can we do to help to help your fire department? Okay, well, in Aspal and all volunteer fire companies, we're always looking for members. Okay. In Aspal, we take them at 14 years old. We take junior members, uh, male or female. We take their parents too, the adults. It's a, it's a commitment, but it's worthwhile. We also have a program for associate members. Okay. For somebody that wants to join the fire department, but they don't want to put up fires. Can. Yeah. They, they might be afraid, but they want to help out. We also have a flea market. They can help with any fundraising events, whether it be the flea market or a cash bash uh, or a mail drive. Wow, you guys got a lot of opportunities for, yeah. for lay people to come in and yes. help out. And one of our associate members, we're very fortunate, is an accountant and uh, a, a, a great tax guy. Yeah. He does our taxes. Our books are on point every year. So it's, it's great to have him That's, aboard. What a, what a great opportunity to have yes. somebody be able to help you like that. In closing, we are gonna put all of the information for you for people to contact you to volunteer. Is there anything else that you wanna say to, to the community? Uh, we would love to have you as members. You know, it's a community. Asthma is a community. It's a tight-knit community. We're always looking for members to help. You can come by the fire hall any Tuesday. We're there. Yep, come on and check it out. Thanks, Ashton Wolf!